The YouTube Partner Program deadline is just three days away, so in this video, I want to talk about what you should do if you lose monetization on February 20th. YouTube Simplified. Hi, and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier, and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. So February 20th is just around the corner, and for those of you who may not be familiar, that is the deadline to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours in order to maintain monetization if you have been previously monetized. If your channel falls into the category of one that has been monetized, but you're not going to meet those requirements of the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours, then stick around because I'm going to share some tips on what you should be doing. All right, so if you are concerned about the money side of it, I just want to share some quick information about what it means to you regarding any balance that you had in your account that you've previously earned. So according to YouTube's announcement, they are going to defer to the ad revenue policy of AdSense. And what that states is that you will accrue revenue up until you reach the minimum threshold for payment, which is $100, at which time through AdSense you're able to request a withdrawal. Now, if you're in a situation where you've earned money that does not equal $100, but you really, really want it, uh, I would kind of advise against this, but I'm going to tell you exactly what they advised you to do. So... You're not going to receive a payout until you get that $100 minimum, but they said if you do close your AdSense account, then they will send you the balance. Now, I hope that you didn't join YouTube so you could collect your $80 and walk away because there's a lot more opportunity out there for you. So I certainly hope you don't take the path of closing your account, but everybody is different. Everybody has uh, their own interests, so that decision is ultimately up to you. So now that we got that out of the way, and I hope those of you who are still watching have committed to continuing here on YouTube because there's so much opportunity to be had. So what should you be focused on and what should your goals be going forward? Well, you've probably heard it said a ton of times, but YouTube is a marathon. So you really need to think about this process long term and what you need to do on your channel to start gaining more subscribers and more watch time and really grow a channel that can be successful for you. All right, so one of the biggest things to consider if you're truly trying to grow a channel as fast as possible, you really need to think about focusing in on a particular niche or subject matter. What I see a lot of channels do is post videos on whatever topic uh, that interests them or they see somebody else have success in a particular topic and then they try to make a video about that thinking they can uh, gain some growth that way. The challenge with that is even if you manage to find a topic outside of your niche and you're super successful on that video, it's really not going to help your channel grow all that much long term. In fact, it can kind of hurt your channel in some cases. The problem with that is you end up bringing in a large chunk of your audience that is interested in that other topic. And what that does is it creates a split in your audience where some people are looking for one kind of video and the people that you got from that other successful video are looking for that more of that content. And that runs into problems because it's like, what do you upload next? Uh, you can either keep trying to chase that popular topic and completely go off board from what you originally created your channel for, or you can get back to what you started making content about in the first place. Either way you go in that regard, you run the risk of alienating part of your audience who may choose to unsubscribe and move on. So it's really important if your goal is growth to try to stay focused within your niche. A good example, I see a lot of channels that do all kinds of different subject matter and a lot of them will start to mix in some YouTube growth so they can share the tips that help make them successful. I actually started to do this on The Average Dan when I started to learn about things that were really cool that actually worked and I wanted to share them with everybody else uh, so they could grow the way that I was. What I quickly found out though in that situation is that it created that same split on that channel. So I immediately decided to branch off and create a second channel, which is now Creator Fundamentals, to make sure that all the content on a specific channel was focused on a single niche. And as you can see, over time, if you're consistent and you keep putting in that effort and you stay focused on your niche, eventually good things can happen. So what I really want this focus of this video to be about is if you're dedicated to growing and it is your goal to grow as fast as possible, you really need to stay focused. You need to avoid that uh, interest in posting a video of a topic that falls out of the subject matter of your channel or create a separate channel and upload those types of videos. But if you're focused on a single channel, you want it to grow. Everything really needs to be on topic. 
Now, as you start to build an audience, you can do testing on certain video topics that are related to yours, but maybe slightly off the type of videos that you do and kind of see the feedback, see how your audience responds and see if it ends up being a good fit for your channel. The process of making a successful YouTube channel is really about that slow evolution over time, evolving your content and your skill set and your understanding of how YouTube works so you can grow a channel that continues to bring in an audience and gives them the type of content that they're looking for. And hey, I just want to let you know that this video is sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is the number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel, and it's available for download for free. The link is in the description below. I hope you found this video useful. If you would like to continue to receive notifications about videos that help simplify YouTube, please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier, and you're watching Creator Fundamentals.